Hey everyone, back again with another video to help save you some time and money. Uh, this time we're taking the steering wheel airbag out of this 2018 Hyundai Sonata. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. The only tool I used was a flat tip screwdriver. And it has to be a very thin one. This is about the thinnest one that I have. Um, the end of this is bent, but yours doesn't have to be in order to do this. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do... I'm taking the steering wheel airbag out because the column is, has sold. Uh, I'm in the junkyard, so I have to take the steering column out. So I have to take the steering wheel airbag out. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you're doing this at home is to make sure you disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Leave it set for 10 to 15 minutes, take any kind of charge off of this. If this airbag hasn't gone off yet, you don't want it to. These things are pretty expensive. Um, so once you have that, uh, negative terminal off the battery for a little bit you can come out here and um, you can remove your airbag um, you'll need your flat tip screwdriver um, you'll want to come in on the side of the airbag you'll have these two little slots here one right here and you'll have another one like it just on the other side right here and as you can see there's just a little tiny sort of see it right there that's that's what you're pointing to and it's hard to do it yeah you press in on that cable or that little wire right there a little little piece of metal right there and uh, you basically come in at on about a 45 degree angle to the steering wheel itself and I've already removed this to save time. I'll show you what you're looking for in here. You have these two holes. That's where the uh, plugs for this stick out. And you're aiming for these little spring pieces on the back of the airbag itself. You'll press them in and then the spring pressure here will push it away from the steering wheel and release it. Um, it may be helpful in taking this out if when you have one side released if you put something in behind it in the little gap in between because oftentimes you'll release this side and then when you go to release this side the spring pressure will reattach it on the other side so then you have to go back over and do the other side again but uh, those are the top two and then on the bottom you have a hole You have this uh, you have this access hole right here and you'll come up through the bottom of the steering wheel and again you'll have another hole right there and you have another little button right here to push in on so it may take you a couple tries to, to get lined up with that but once you do you'll be able to release that part of the airbag and then uh, you'll be able to pull it out just a little ways and then you'll have two uh, wire connectors here and then a little ground cable that runs right there uh, On these wire clips you'll have these two little yellow retainers on either side They're spring-loaded so you have to maybe come in with a screwdriver on both sides Or use your fingertip and a screwdriver on one side and pry up on it You'll have to obviously do it on the other side as well and then on the blue one is the same thing You'll have that on that side and on that, on that side. And then you'll have the little ground strap right here. It has a little retaining clip right inside of it. So you can just pop that off. And then you'll have your airbag out. So then you can either replace this or do whatever work you need to do to continue on with your day. Uh, just know that if you replace this with a new one, you'll have to replace the module the controls the srs system the airbag module which is normally uh, underneath the center console here so it's either going to be up here underneath the front of the dash or back here underneath the uh, armrest of the console so just know that if you replace this you'll still need to replace that oftentimes uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly this particular model but oftentimes those are one-time use only modules so if your airbag deploys you'll have to replace that module too in order to uh, reset the system but uh, to, to get just to get the airbag out that's how you go about it so if this helped you out drop a like down below subscribe for more videos hope it saves you some time thanks